Hi guys, we're back! Did you miss my voice? I did not. I missed my voice. I can tell. You like the sound of Ta -da -da. We're back? I think that should always be our opening music for Drag Race UK! As always, it's me, Jared. Who do I want to be today? Jared B! Jared for B. Jared B. Dears. Classy Kendall, Classy Kendall. Jaffy, Jared Beyonce? Jared Kendall, Jared Kendall. No. And the voice you're hearing is the lovely... Mm, ish. Ish. Taylor Dillon! <laughs> Are we still going by Taylor Dillon? Yes. Okay. I, unlike you, do not change my name every Listen, week. I am like a chameleon. No, you're just like an alcoholic who can't remember your name from one day to the next. Uh, we're trying something, another thing new, because that's what we like to do here at the Pretty Dylan podcast. <laughs> you're like, we're trying something new. What is like that? that? We are, we we are getting more coverage in the filming. So if you want to see what we look like, don't forget you can always go to the Taylor Dylan Show on YouTube. So that was you... under, It's under the Taylor Dylan Show. Yeah, the Taylor Dylan Show. Did you forget to put on your makeup today? I forgot my jacket and my bra because I'm paying homage to Gothy Kendall. Gothy Kendall. Gothy Kendall. Kendall. Which we've decided is the new Miss Vanjie. It is. It is the new Miss Vanjie. Even think. though no one said it in the show. Gothy Kendall did. She did. At the end of the first episode when she did. She did, but no one's echoing it Gothy in Kendall. the other episodes. Well, maybe Gothy it's still Kendall. too early. Yeah, maybe. Episode two Drag Race UK. Downtown Draggy. Downton Draggy. Downtown Is it draggy. downtown or downtown? It's downtown, but I like to call it downtown. Downtown. Even with um, Downtown Abbey, I was always like downtown Abbey instead of downtown. Abbey. Da, 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 da. Okay, so Gothy has just downtown. got sent home. Bye. Are we sad? Rawr. Rawr. Black, black, black. Or she, you know, Rawr. has now put it, she is the, um, she's the pork chop of the UK. She's the pork chop of the UK. Um, she also has a very thick pork chop between her legs. Mm. Um, I heard... Unless the pictures are fabricated. I got word, true, but they don't look fabricated. No. But I got word that Gothy Kendall's nudes were online, so of course, me being the pervert... Tracked them down. I had to find it. And then I sent it to Taylor. It's, it's research. It's research. research for the show. Research, Mr. DeVille. That's all. Research. We, yeah. research. we like research. We, we want to make sure we are well informed. Before we go into the one well foreskin, yes. Why are, we, why are we playing with the binder clips? I don't know, but how you're playing with it? Ah, there we go. Gothy Kendall. Gothy I thought Kendall. maybe you're gonna Gothy use it Kendall. to like, you know. It would do well for my hair, which is go. which got flattened. Oh, that's awesome! I think um, it's gonna be a new look. Taylor came to pick me up today, and I didn't want my neighbors to see me. And of course, one neighbor was out there, and I was wrapped like Princess Jasmine. Fleeing from the palace, the realness. Now, it's weird that only today you would not want your neighbors to see you. I mean, well, today's like, the first time do? in a while since that I've worn makeup. Oh. Now we're up close and personal. Oh, Lord. Look at that yeah. lighting. Gothy Kendall, Gothy Kendall. We are I'm using like, the season five season I'm like one Scar filter. Jr. Like, rah. Scar Jr. Oh. Or what is oh. the new Disney show? That's not, not new, it's been on for a while. Descendants. Oh. I am the son of Scar. Yeah, but the animal Scare. ones don't have. Yeah, that's descendants. that's some species. That's the um, that's humans. species. What was species the other day they were talking about? Well, okay, I can't say humans because Ursula. Oh, has... that's right. Because I said we should do the cat's face and use it as species. Yeah, animalist. It's, it's an animalist. Wait, who? Oh no, Ursula, Ursula is an animal, and she has a daughter. Yeah, she has a, but she's part. She... Nope. Ursula, she's Is human it? on top. Hello. Have you ever seen an octopus yeah. that deep in the yeah, water? I have. That deep have. in the water? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Ursula and I are good friends. I used to hang with her testicles a lot. Yeah, I see you guys have the same diet also. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And I live off of a purple food only. And um... She eats those little sh crab things. Mm -hmm. Those are like purple shells. Anyway, on to the episode. How do you think she got so purple? Um, purple nurples. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Let's get into the meat of it. Let's get... So, some people are already getting very annoyed by Cheryl. And, and by some people, we mean Vivian. Vivian. She's the only one. The Vivian. The Vivian. So, first of all, can I just say... Say it. Don't spray it. The Vivian out of drag looks like Tracy Ullman in drag. The Vivian out of drag looks... Mmm. I miss that show. Like, every time I see the Vi Vivian in her interviews, I'm waiting for Tracy Ullman to just, like, pop out of her skin and be like, surprise, guys. No, she's going to pop out of her skin and be like, go home. Mm -hmm. Go, go home, home, everybody. Everybody. Go home, Go home. Because she does. She looks like Tracy Ullman when Tracy's in um, drag. When she was doing the queen out in public, she looked like Tracy Ullman in mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But maybe because... No, I'm not no. going to say it. But I do like her. I like nice. the Vivian. The Vivian is... She's fun. I feel like she's going to be the new... Um, what was her name? Like, Alexis. She's going to be the new, like, villainous type. Like, you know, like, Alexis. Remember Alexis from, Michelle? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think she's going to show up one day in green because it's Michelle's favorite uh, color. I just feel like she's just, like, making a big fuss over nothing. Yeah. Well, they got to have a little drama. You know. Do you think they were poking? I think they were poking a little. Just because... They, I think they're so right now so proper and they need to have a little bit of drama in there so but the British are also nice and kind yeah they are all right um, so another thing that I discovered or realized the other day was that there's no cash prize there is not a cash prize the, so the winner will be whisked away to Hollywood so did you hear why though did you actually read into why no, no I know I told you something about like those so, laws you because, did research yes I did what I did, did research know? A little bit here and there. So because RuPaul's Drag Race UK is produced by the BBC, okay. the BBC does not have commercials, so they do not have commercial endorsements. They don't have commercials at all? No, they don't have to do commercials That's on their show. That's fucking heaven. Or adverts, as they call them over there. Advertisements. No, they just call them adverts. Oh, adverts. So because there are no adverts, there are no show sponsors for their stuff, so they don't have anyone that will give them like, money. prizes or money and stuff like so that. So then how do, they st- how do they get their money? They get their money other ways, apparently. The BBC has other ways about it. Illegal drug. Maybe. 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 But it all comes down with there's no adverts, so there's no sponsors. So oh. who doesn't have to plug the show to anyone? It's all paid for by the BBC. That's nice. So they can't do any of what those. What a big black to advertise yeah. also. So they can't do any of those things on there. So that's why the girls aren't getting prizes. So it's not necessarily that it's illegal. It's just there's no one to foot the bill. Q star. The more you speaking know. And yeah. Yeah, we do a little so. star thing right there. Yeah. But it also means we don't have to listen to them like promote the vodka line for the, you know. Well, they haven't promoted the, or anything in a while. Mac makeups or any of that stuff. Like, there's no, True. there's not going to be any of that in this season. So, so they all get their Rue Peter pin when they win. Rue Peter pin. And they Which, is that a play trophy. on something? Um, it is a play on something. I forgot what exactly it was. Come on, research. They did talk. Well, I did research it, but it's on my phone and I can't pull it up because we're using it to record. But they do talk about where that comes about with uh, the badge and what it's a play off of. And now we know. Now we know. We also learned about the Lady Rose, or the Tuppens, because we, we didn't did. know what the Tuppens were. Which is you? the vagina. It's... Which I thought Lady Rose was asshole. No. But, um, I mean, booty ho. Jinx Monsoon actually talks about it in her season, the Rose, and how... Um, mm-hmm. What's her face? When she was Ivy speaking. Winters was going to do um, a rose as her Oh, because they were doing like, their sins. Yeah. And they're like, maybe you shouldn't do that. So she's like, it's an asshole, a rose I'm bud. A witch. Yeah. And I know these things. So the Lady Rose is the Tuppence, is the VJJ. Yes. Yeah. Um, we also, uh, I hope she doesn't keep saying this, but before the, ooh, you got mail message, whatever, Vinegar's like, this week we've got to bring it. And I was like, why are you only <laughs> now? Like, this week we got to bring it, and next week, and the following week, and maybe even the week after that. Every week. You should just bring it every week. You should be bringing looks. You should. Honey. Like, you're on this for ten episodes, hopefully. You should just bring it every week. Yes. But what else? Okay, so, mini challenge. The Vivian... Because the Vivian won last... Week. Week. So she gets to uh, be in charge she of She gets to play this shady game of who she bottom. thinks is her most, her biggest competition to her lowest competition. Yeah. Because the British likes to line in queues. We line in lines also. Yeah, I didn't get that. It's just a joke, you know. The, the British always queue up, I guess. So it's just a joke. on. You know. All right. So the Vivian. Puts vinegar as that. her most, her biggest competition. And Scaredy Cat as her least and then in going down the line, so we have the uh, we have vinegar, bag of chips, Baga. crystal, Davina, something, blue, Cheryl, and then Scaredy. Do you think? Do you think that's true? I think it's still too early to. Uh... It's still a little too early to tell, but. Uh... But that does divide up now. We have two, the two team leaders. So Scaredy being the other team leader because she was at the bottom. Right, team and Scaredy. And they get to team off. So Team Scary is Davina, Cheryl, Blue, and Crystal. And Team The Vivian is Vinegar, Baga, Something. Which I think Crystal. Vivian chose right. She no, sh- no shade to the other ones. But she has Vinegar, who's done shows, Broadway. She Baga has great timing. Competition. 
like she strong. She chose the people that would be her strong com competition, and she pulled them into her group. And then she pulled something which yeah. even she said I'm she's the extra. Not extra. <laughs> yes. Which something mm, doesn't I kind of agree get um, with. Something doesn't get the uh, credit that she. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, she hasn't really done anything yet to really prove... She hasn't. She's kind of like just... But again, it's only second episode. Yeah. But I already have taken a liking to Baga. Baga, I I'm, loving, very... I'm loving Baga. And I, I do like the Vivian, even though, yeah, she does kind of get on my, not nerves, but she's... Yeah, and I think if Scary had not chosen her first, Vivian definitely would have chosen Davina. Yeah. Or it, she would have been stupid not and to. And then something would have gone over to scare me. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So. so we get our first acting challenge. Yay! Acting challenge. Yay! Another poorly written, <laughs> but lacking of jokes. It was poorly written, but in a fun way, where because it really worked for that style. Well, of it worked because show. you had good actors. Yeah. Well, mm, some good well, actors. It shined in parts because of good actors. Yeah. Like me favorite Baga. Baga. When Michelle told her, <laughs> you're better. No, wait. What was the line? It was something it was better that time. Um. Wait, I have it. You were good. I don't know. It was some, it was some compliment sounding thing. Oh, much better. Much better. And she's like, oh, thank you. And Michelle's like, no, no much that's better. That's your line. She much was, better. <laughs> which I liked her unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute her maid costume was cute her unibrow mm -hmm. who do you think shined in these acting challenges besides Baga besides Baga Divina De Campo I think did well Divina did well um, considering her I you think know, Blue could have been better like she, there was potential in her Scarity was too one dimensional like Michelle was saying she was um she was kind of channeling pheromone, but pheromone does it better. Yeah. With the whole whining and stuff. Um, did it bother you? Did Vinegar's wig bother you? I guess you didn't notice it, so I guess it didn't Not bother. really. It seemed like a wig that was too small for her head. Like, the wig came up to here. Well, she does have an unusually large head. But still, but you, sh I feel like if you're, because the way her wig was, is she wore it up in the bun in the back. And I uh -huh. think the normal hairline for that would be like here and it was too but it was here it was almost here it was almost up here it was almost, it was almost it like was almost three it was almost where the bump it was in the first episode it, it was as if blue was originally gonna play it and then they squished it and then maybe they were <laughs> the girl was like can i still use the wig then Maybe they were. Now, do they get their costumes provided for them, or do I they have to travel think, with their? Because how can you come decide? With a maid costume, just in case you have to play a maid this year. <laughs> come with these falling costumes, just in case. You know, or maybe they have like a room. So maybe it is. You know, they just kind of have generic costumes, and you have to make it work. I and... think so. Yeah. Um, Cheryl also is kind of giving me a little bit of Alyssa vibes, and I'll get into that later. Okay. But she good Alyssa vibes or bad Alyssa like, vibes? Like like the faces, and she likes she loves her tongue pops. Oh, yeah, she doesn't do it as good as Alyssa though. Um no, she no, sorry, no, sorry, sorry Bye. about it. Um, I also really liked Baggett's ad libs as she was pulling the Brit crew off. <laughs> She's like, oh bloody hell, come oh, on. Brit crew. Even Michelle was enjoying it. Yeah. Yes, she was. And we get to hear about how Crystal's, you know, been performing her whole life, like since when she was like four years old, I think she said. And yet she did not shine in the acting challenge. Well, see, oh. her problem is she's from Canada, right? So, you know, there's the whole... Do you language. think those are um, beauty marks below her eyes? Have you ever seen... I have Do seen those. It? I kind of wonder if she pencils them on. Mm. She's like, my eyes are here, not here. Yeah, like, <laughs> I wonder if she pencils those in because... To have two, like usually when you have a beauty mark, it's and like very symmetrical. One somewhere kind of a thing, but not two that are exactly like in the same spot yeah. on both sides of your face. I don't buy it. Also, I wonder how long they have to learn the lines. I, I probably not long, right? Because do you learn lines easily? No. Really? I always thought you did. No, that's why I do more improving on. Wow, I looked up to you as an actor. Yeah, no, I'm horrible at the walls are crushed. Lines. Um, the way I learn lines is. Um, I learned it that day. <laughs> I mean, even the, so, we're learning 
if we're blocking the scene that day, then I will learn it right before rehearsals. The, uh, the, the house tour script that I wrote that we did years ago. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. that I wrote and I was the one doing Yeah, I couldn't remember the lines that I wrote. I, I, I don't remember lines that I write too. Yeah, I couldn't. I'm horrible at remembering lines like that sometimes. So it would probably take me. Do you still remember the lines? Yeah. Anyway, All I remember is, well. Almost. Well, almost, and once, but once I get them and remember them, then I can keep them a long time. That was a good. But... That was a good video. Too bad the yeah. public will never see it. Which Wait, did we ever release it? Yeah. Oh no, Sacre Bleu. Yeah, it's online. If you look for um, house tour. Hey guys, Jake if you want to see, tour, if you want to see prime acting, I think actually it's even in our channel. It's on the uh, Taylor Dillon Taylor De show channel. I think, I think we're tour. the only ones seen though, right? Because Janae, Janae, Janae's who's a very camera. good best friend of ours. No, no, Janae's on camera. No, she was filming it. No, she was a camera, and then yeah. she her voice was on it, but she was never shown. She was never shown. I was shown in a grandma onesie. And in the very beginning, when and you were the... doing the whole... Right? Weren't you seen for that? Or no, no, I don't think so. It was mm -hmm. mainly you. That's right. Prime acting. Film well, prime acting. because the other two people that were supposed to write scripts to be produced that day dropped the ball and forgot to write them. I don't know who them. I don't know them. So it became just... Okay. All right. So British, so uh, British drama in the style of Downton Abbey. Downton Draggy. Downton Draggy. Uh, I just have bad writing and over the top acting. Yeah, that's basically. That's but basically I felt like it. the over the top acting was a needed for this show. It was script, because and it also worked. They were trying to make it like that type of a drama, so you need yeah. that whole over the top. I didn't get the American parts. There were American like, parts. Yeah, because like. Something Wong and Crystal both played American actresses, and I was like, "Oh, is that what they were supposed to be?" How does, well, because one was Mariah Scary or whatever, and then the other one I think was supposed to be Kendall Jenner or like a knockoff. Oh, okay, I didn't get that. I got them. I heard them talking about it, like, "Oh, I'll be the American cousin." Right, which but I thought that was just they a both joke went they southern, were which is funny. I I kind of expected more from the Brits with the American accent because British people are really good at American accents. Mm. But these um, aren't like, actors. But even but still. then also you know what you're gonna like something wrong with like and there was a few others who were like I don't do impersonations and blah 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 you what you're obviously all fans of the shows yes yeah, so you, you know, know it's coming you know it's coming you know you're gonna have to I mean and I'm not saying everyone has to be po like perfect in each asset unless you plan on getting eliminated the first episode you know what you're getting into right the which if you're planning on getting eliminated. Hey, some um, people want to be the pork chop. Some people want to be like Magnolia Crawford. <laughs> you know? Look, look at Miss Vanjie. She was eliminated her first episode. She came back for All Stars and has a name for herself. She didn't come back All Stars. Oh, that's awkward. No. Oh, there was a the following season yeah. she came back. Okay. <laughs> so she came back. But so, I wouldn't be surprised if she showed up. You know, she probably, she's going to be the next Shangela. She's going to be the next Shangela. She will come back and robbed. roll. She will roll the roost. Oh, much better. I had it written down right there. Bag much not better. Getting a comment. Much better. Maybe they should go out to Scarlet as um, bag of chips, wouldn't they? Oh, Lord. As the maid. Oh, no. I mean, it did seem though like some of the girls were not quite connecting with their characters. A lot of them. They didn't quite get. With the only ones that really connected were, I feel like, Davina and Baga. Davina and Baga. Maybe the Vivian, but even she wasn't that strong of an actress. No. Um, and of course, the ones who have all the acting credits. Just no. did okay. Yeah. I mean, Vinegar Strokes was just all right. Like, even when she had to read, she didn't even though... Vinegar Stroke. Do you think Michelle wanted to say, be more black? Because I know that's a thing in Hollywood. And it could be because the way she was doing it of, you know, funky. when we read, you know how we read. You know right. she was probably saying, girl, give it a little bit more, give it a little bit more black, give it a little bit more soul. Yeah. Because it was very... And even then, she was still like... She I just did the head, head thing, head. and the, you can't do. Yeah, see, but just because she did the head thing doesn't I'm white. mean I can't do it. No. All right. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. I tried. Um, Lady Eddie had no levels. She was just whiny. That's um scaredy cat. Uh, and and the Michelle face. told her face. The kitty cat face. Yes. Cat face. I get it. Your name is Cat. Who does it do cat face? Do you have to do everything looking like a cat? I mean, meow. I'm like, seriously, no, come on. All right, so from the acting challenge, we. We're we oh, to the runway. Oh, not yet. No, for first, I have, I have some questions. I have some. Oh. 
I have some questions here. La so, pregunta este. We when we first met Scaredy Cat, she's straight. She has a girlfriend. Did you say she was straight? She's the yep. She's like I'm straight. I'm I need to first, rewatch the first episode again because I I'm feel like she said she was straight contestant. She didn't oh, say she was that's bi in the true. first one. That's true. And then now she's saying she's and now bi. all of a sudden she's like I'm bi. I'm bi. Okay, if you're bi, you're not bye, straight. Bye, bye. Like that's the whole thing. Like right. they want to make have people make sure they have that distinction that bi people are not straight. Correct. So now suddenly she's bi, and I was like, Oh really, girl? You're bi now? Okay. The wheels are in motion. Okay, all right. Nah. But she's trying to say, Oh my sexual. I don't have a sexuality. I have a girlfriend. My girlfriend is my sexuality. Who it? lives in Canada? So yeah. So okay. So Scaredy Cat is actually. Bye, and we probably are next gonna find out that she's actually forty. She's not really nineteen. She's lying about she's her age. She's actually a, a a a horse. Yes, a, a horse. I'm not a horse. actually a cat. No, I'm a horse. I'm a horse. No. Look at me, and then she'll take off her mask and be like, Phew. "Okay, so category is wait." Oh, I think we get our first sad story in this episode. Did yeah. we get a sad story last episode? No, not really. We got a so, sad story this episode. Yeah. So they go around asking, do your parents know you do drag? And something Wong says, uh, oh, uh, no, they still think I'm working in, like, visual merchandising or whatever it was. Something Wong's another one whose story doesn't match up. If we're doing the whole, like, conspiracy theory okay. stories don't match up. Oh, we're already getting into it. Okay. We're already getting into that. Like, what, what I mean, like, last season, what the girls are sitting around like, oh, she said her, she doesn't have a boyfriend enough. She to said one. that. She did. So, Something Wong that was really cool. talks about how she came out of the closet so her family knows that she's gay, but they don't know she does drag. Correct. Then she says, my parents still think that I work in marketing or whatever. I just know I do drag. They don't know that I do drag. They don't know that I'm gay, and they don't know that I've been living with my boyfriend of five years. Right. So her, she came out to the clo of the closet to her parents, but they don't know that she's gay. They don't know she does drag. She also said they don't know I'm gay. I need to replay this. You need to replay it, girl. You need to watch it. To take it back. Rewind so it was like, back. was that some like bad editing? Like maybe she actually did that interview before. Oh, but don't they usually do the interviews after? Well, I mean, maybe she, no. I mean, her. You'd um, have to do it after because you can't do an interview before. Your sub, her a little in the internal interview when their girls were talking. Right, right, right. Yeah. Which is usually after they film. No, not the ones where they're out solo on camera. The ones where they're talking to each other in the workroom. Oh, okay. In like front maybe of a mirror that's not a yeah. real mirror because it's a two-way mirror. Yeah, so maybe that was filmed at like some different point before she was getting her story straight mm, or something. Or taking so you're saying the editing. The editing. Like hey, maybe... listeners who don't watch Drag Race, Mom. They edit? Go. <laughs> go find it out for us. I was like, where is your train of thought going? Like, no, just find out if maybe that uh, conversation was taken out of context and maybe this, yeah. hmm. she started by saying that the parents didn't know she was gay and then maybe there was some later context where hmm. she said I've come out to them and, you know, I don't hmm. know. Okay, so runway. Category runway. is... Runway. Run, 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 runway. Bond girl. What is a bond um, girl to you? A bond girl to me is a sexy woman who is basically hang on, hangs on to James Bond. Like, you know, it could be his seductress... Um, not necessarily his companion. It could be like an arch rival type thing, but that's basically. For some reason, when I had a Bond girl, I thought it like spy. I don't know why. Well, it could be that too, but it's usually. There's I a mean, definition for it. Those Bond, those Bond girls are usually. Bond like, girl is a character who is an attractive love interest or female psychic of James Bond. So this. So do you think it. these women <laughs> look like Bond girls? No. Okay, let's. So, the pictures. Let's review. So, because Taylor, I guess, was not satisfied with my taking a picture of the computer. So, actually, what we're going to do is they're, they're going to be here. They'll, they'll pop up. Bling! Beep! So, who do we have here. first? So, first we have the Vivian. Serena Shart. I don't like it. Code name IBS. Um, and also, she the said, Vivian's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. She's a little bit too confident. She said this is supposed to be... Um, what did she say? It was inspired by, um, what's her face? Um, I mean, we can uh, listen to it. Uh, uh, I'm blanking. Um, dun, dun. Oh, but can we first talk about RuPaul's gown? RuPaul's gown. I love oh. this gown. Are you playing the music? Are they going to come after us? Sorry, I'm going to be right now. Sentiment? I love the train on this gown. It's a great color. I like the high... Um, split. It's gorgeous. Black, shiny. 
Gorgeous, black, shiny with the same Did I just start to describe our best friend? That's not the same episode, though. Wait, that is the same this episode. This isn't. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Editing problems again. Editing it's a problems. conspiracy. No, it's because this morning I was watching the first episode, and I was like, Michelle's dress didn't look like that. Ooh, but the first episode, I did also like RuPaul's outfits, too. So maybe we're finally going to, and maybe I'm finally going to enjoy RuPaul's outfits again, because for a while, I was not satisfied. Also, <laughs> Your reflection in the mirror, I thought it was somebody else. My, you thought I was somebody else? The reflection in the mirror right there. What are you looking at, sis? There's a mirror? Right there. Boom. Oh. Ah! <gasps> Shit! Dun, 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 dun! It's a good thing we're wearing clothes in the back, because that would be awkward otherwise. Okay. 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 What is she saying? Just kidding. The shot. Bond's probably out to go with her. Or she's probably going to kill him. Grace Jones. Oh, Grace, Grace Jones. Jones, yes. Okay. Grace Jones. So uh, it's a very Grace Jones inspired look with this whole head wrap that's going on, one piece like jumpsuit. Did you like it though? Did you like the outfit? I mean, it flowed nicely, I suppose. I it's, mean, it's cute. Quite nice. This probably for me is one of the more. I don't like the hanging shreds though on the side of it. You see here? Those extra pieces that are hanging yeah, down. Like, yeah, I, mean, I get the kimono. The kimono thing. Yeah. But... To I, me, though, this is probably the most Bond girl looking You outfit. know what this reminds me also, though? Manila wore something similar to this. Yeah, she, she wore did. a black thing with a inset of a neon green yellow thing. She did. And I think that was for, like, probably another Bond girl type episode. I feel well. like. But hers was more slick and cuter because yeah. it's Manila the sun. Mm -hmm. My queen. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up, we Code have... Codename, though, IBS. Irritable doll syndrome. I'm just saying. Okay, some Ting Wong who has to stick with the Ting thing. Oh, so this is one. Ting. This is the one that kind of reminds me of Manila Luzon. Actually, wait, they're so, all wearing hoodies. Trend alert! Trend hoodies. Alert. So I like the front. I don't like the fur. I don't get it why she's carrying them off. It is an unnecessary accessory. I do like the jewelry. Her titties look good. Yes, for a birthday. Um, um, I like that it's backless. It's backless. It's frontless, and it's hairless. Do you like the hairless? If, it doesn't. I necessarily, like it. It's very androgynous. Yeah, right? like for this look, it doesn't necessarily need hair. And I like the way that the hips pop up on the side, too. Oh, those little hip things yeah, going on. Yeah, I know there's yeah. a name for them. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. I, I almost thought it was just so pockets. Itchy. I thought it was just pockets at first. but All this damn coke I did before the video. Was okay, good. next up we have Vinegar Strokes. Oh, damn Miss coke. F Tits. Miss? What she said wasn't fuck tits. She said it stood for something else. Yeah. Um... Fun tits? Fun tits? I don't know. Fun tits. Miss Fun Fun tits. Okay. So I did not like the hair. Um, uh, that's all you didn't like? I didn't like the dress. I didn't understand what the whole thing it was. It looks like she was going to work. Yeah. It's and not, not in the, like, I'm going to work because I work for Mr. Bond. Yeah. And the gloves are nice. The sunglasses are nice. I mean, it's. It's not a nice outfit, actually. <laughs> but the no. sunglasses it and the made, gloves are nice. It made it made no sense. It made no sense. Come on, I vinegar. I was kind of I'm in the beginning. I was kind of rooting for vinegar because she seemed fierce. Yeah. I got fierce vibes. But with each episode that comes through. But it's also, I guess, maybe this is just a, a British interpretation of what a bomb girl looks like. Okay, but also, but her, her wig just it looks. <laughs> her wig looks like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Her wig looks like something you get in a costume shop. <laughs> Sorry, I pressed play and I saw the next queen that came out and I loved it. It makes no sense to the fucking challenge. But next up we have Bag of Chips as... Laser Minnelli. But is it laser with a Z or laser with an S? And laser she is with dressed is like laser. Liza Minnelli. She is. It's a very Liza Minnelli <laughs> And it look. makes no sense. It makes like, no sense. Could you imagine a Bond movie with Liza Minnelli? Like, Liza, I need you here. Yeah. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> I can't do it. It's not a James, but, It's not a Bond girl look. I'm sorry. But it's fucking hilarious. But it is awesome. And you know, you're you're the tits because everybody loved it. Mm -hmm. Even though it had nothing to do with the fucking challenge. Yeah. My name's Liza Minnelli. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but it's a cute outfit though. I would wear it. It. it you would. I you would wear this for pajamas. Yeah, I would. And I would have the martini glass. <laughs> Bag of Chips has so much life on this runway. She is loving it. She's living it. I want that yellow 
You want her I wonder how much her. Big Bird's she had to skin for that. I mean, it's a great outfit, and I think she was just like, fuck it, I don't have a Bone girl outfit, so I'm just gonna be me. <laughs> you know she read it, and she was like, the fuck is Bone? Mm-hmm, where's the Bone? Alright, I'll just, I'll just wear this. And I can throw my hat, and yay. <laughs> it's just, it's comedy gold. What is she doing? <laughs> oh, we have a screen cap of that. See, look at that, right there. See, Cheryl Hole. <gasps> But why was she backing up? I like, don't know. Because she's sneaking into the room so no one sees her. Oh, is that what? Oh, she's acting. Oh, so now she's an actress. Now she's an actress. Oh, no, she's an actress. It's a cute dress. I actually used to own a dress very similar to that. With the slit going up. It's it makes no sense. Cute. It it's makes no sense. not a Bond girl, though. It, no it doesn't sense. have that sexy look. And, and then, then, reveal. We get a reveal. And she rips it off to show that she's wearing a bathing suit. And, and a um, girdle. And a and a garter belt. Whatever. I don't have to wear one, so. A garter belt with a gun in it. Um, the but only she way looks I could, confused. So what is this? What is this? The only way I could see the swimsuit making sense is like when they're like running, and then they're like, "Oh no, ocean!" And then she rips off her dress. Yeah. And then that's the only or way I could off see of like it makes sense. Or right. Like that and, right. But other than that, no, I just didn't get the whole dress look. Boot. Next up, <sighs> Crystal, Juan the Whipper. Wanda Whipper. So I loved the fact that her newspaper has the Who is Crystal headline. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Who's yeah. Crystal? Who is Crystal? I and like this outfit. It is a very nice outfit. This is... This screams Bond Girl this to me. This screams Bond Girl it's villain. It's very slick. Yes. It's very... Yeah, it's very a plot twist. This is very much I'm like the a... mole. I like the orange kimono-esque mm -hmm. thing. I would love to own something like that. And then I love that she has a little bit of Bond... Edge. Bondage type. Get it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The only thing that for me doesn't really scream Bond Girl outfit is the hood. With that hair coming out. Wait, I don't know why I'm looking at your computer when I can look at mine. Everything else, though, is um, very Because it's slick, and I love it that. Slick. I love that what's her face is getting scared every time the whip cracks. Uh -huh. um, I love it. You know what this also kind of reminds me of, though? Um, Sweet Charity, um, um, Rich Man's Frug. Rich Man's Frog? I always said Frug. Is it not Frug? It's frog. I think it's frog. That's dial Janae. I think it's Janae with no. frog. I think it's frog. Janae, settle this for us. Um, We're not going to call her now. But. Yeah, she wouldn't answer anything. Hey, your time hop's popping off. Yay, I love my Let's see pop. your memories from 10 years ago of all the status updates that make you cringe. All right, next we have Amelia Earhart. I thought this I mean, was cute. Kitty Rouge. I mean, Kitty Rouge. I like this as like a period Bond girl. Like maybe she was from back in the day. So I you would like it. it if she got out of the jacket, <laughs> the aviator glasses. No, but that's what makes it. So you then, just want her to be naked. Then it would look, no, if just the dress. Then it would look like a Bond girl. I like it. But, I like um, everything about it. It's very like undercover spy. Okay, yeah. I, okay, maybe Bond girl who's going skiing. That's maybe, what I'm saying, like very yeah. period Bond girl. Like this would be Bond girl from like the 1940s. Oh, she's not even wearing a hat. That's just her hair. Yes. Bang me. Bang me. She has a gun and it says bang me. Again, a villain. A villain? But this, Davina De Campo is very much a Bond villain. Yes, and I love that coat with the fur. I loved the, the eye patch. I loved the hair. I loved the makeup. I, I just love the, I love that little, I guess, headband. The yeah. headband accessory. The uh, And I just, love her, I love her boots. Paris this is, this is a toot. For me, toot, 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 toot yes. the moon. And just her uh, little actions that she did with it, everything was just And I like her, is that feathers on her eye patch? That's the eye patch? Yeah. I feel like she also could be Quirrell Deville's cousin. Yes. Next up. Last, Blue Hydrangea, Triple Tatas. Triple Tatas. Uh, this... What do we think of the helmet? Because I found it was a helmet. Is, not is a helmet. Up, but... I was like, now we're into the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ah, and it's have... time to conquer us! Yes. Ah, Dixie like, Lenoir! That's very much what this looks like to me. Um, do you think the triple titties was necessary? What, uh, what Bond girl has three tits? I mean, Maybe I Maybe in it. another universe. It's because she wants to spell out 007 on her chest. Also these... But <laughs> other than that, the three tits is more of a... Um, Total Recall, mm. three tits, but yeah. whatever. I mean, it's the outfit would have been probably a lot better if she did not have the three tits and if she had maybe left on the top covering. The outfit would have made more sense for maybe like another category. Also, it kind of reminds me of when um, ben, De ben De La Creme did the Animal Runway and she was a bug. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah. 
Who is she? Like a B or she a She was a like Frank or... Mantis or something? Look, okay, wait, 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 wait. Look, look at this hair. Look at that hair. Okay, look yeah, right it does look there. like she look has a condescending glance. It looks like she does have it a little higher than it should be. Look, it looks like it's not even fitting her. I feel like, yeah. like, if there's a strong breeze, all of a sudden her hair will fly off. <laughs> Poof, be gone. Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to hate on people. But Why are you hating? Because I'm a hater. You're just mad because Vinegar was in a show Everything about Jane, Jane and you're not. I've never heard of that show. It's yeah, a good show. It's pretty good. Um, uh, Michelle was in it. Michelle was in it. As um, Bianca was in again. it. Bianca was in it, which is funny because Bianca's always like, I don't sing, I don't Bianca. sing. Bianca. But she maybe had, it was a non-singing role. No, she played the um, she played the drag queen. She was imagine the, that she was the drag, drag queen. queen. She plays it out of drag, but she's the one that. The drag queen where the girl, where the kid first goes to the store and buys the outfits and stuff. Show. That's her, okay. that's like her drag character. Okay. Okay, so. So. Who's safe and who is on? Um, so, team Vivian Juan. Were you surprised? No. I mean, look at but I, re- I wasn't team. surprised, but I was rooting for Scary Cat, because I'm always rooting for the underdog. Yeah. yeah. But. But Scary Cat's team is in the bottom, and they're the all bottom. up for elimination. The dun, tuppence dun, were dun. squished. Oh, and the winner? The winner, the winner was... Bag of chips. Rightfully. So she got the Rupeter badge. A Rupeter, which kind of sounds like Rupeter badge. Is that what it so, is? I, no, not quite. Oh. There's the whole explanation as to what it came from. but So I love the one they're like, yeah, I won the badge. Oh, I'm going to sell it off later. <laughs> On eBay. Because, yeah, I mean... I guess much, eBay's bigger than Amazon there. Yeah. I think Amazon's more of an American thing, so... Maybe. Those Americans, they think they've got it all with mm-hmm. an Amazon and free shipping when they Prime. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> winner was Bag of Chips. The other, the other team is up for elimination. Up for elimination. So, from the other team, who do we have that's safe? Because So, uh, who was safe was... Davina um, DeCampa. Everybody but Blue and Scotty Cat. <laughs> and Cheryl. Those are the three safe. Yes. So Blue and Scaredy are in the bottom. How do we feel about this? How I do think you feel so. about this? I think so. No, I, you think, I, I think so. You think they deserve to be in the bottom? Definitely Scaredy Cat. As much as I was rooting for her, mm-hmm. um, she was, she, Michelle gave her notes. Her acting and she challenge was notes. just like... <laughs> um, Blue Hydrangea from what we see, because we don't see what is unedited. I don't even remember what Blue was in the acting challenge. She was a maid, and she kept screwing up her lines of like, Here, Madame Jerry, this is your paper. Oh, see, or that's whatever how her name was. unimpressed I was. I don't even remember. Um, but I also think that Cheryl didn't do that great of an acting job, too. So why do you think Cheryl was safe over Blue? Because of the little sucking on the knob, and she did. Oh, you I think fucking so. know. All right, okay. So we have... Blue up against Scarity. And they lip sync to. What did they lip sync to? We're gonna find out in just a moment. Oh. Are you, oh, you're on the slow internet, yeah? I'm just kidding, we're not gonna find we're out. We're gonna do a challenge. Hi. RuPaul. Um, Excuse me while we take this brief commercial break. Hi, have you heard about Klarna? A cl- With four a cl- easy payments, you could buy anything online. What did you say, a Clarida? Hi, I brush my teeth once a year. I whip my hair. What do I use? I whip my hair. I use Quip, which is now available at Target. You started looking about an hour ago. Have you come across it yet? Do they have the name of the song? I was going to go through the episode because I didn't know where I was going to find out. I want to cut to the feeling. Oh, yeah. I think it was. It was, was it a good song that I liked? I feel like it was a song, another song I didn't like. Your listeners are loving that. Not saying that I um, have this, you know, all cheated out, but I have it all. What is the song? Venus. Oh, that's right. I'm your Venus. And, uh, okay, so do you think Scary Cat did well for her first time? You You know, (laughs) I think considering she has never actually gone to a drag show, or seen a drag queen in person. Do you think she's lying about that? Like or... Plastique was lying about not knowing divas. 
possible, but no, I mean, she's only 19 years old, so it's more... So 19's can't lie, is she's, that what you're saying? Well, uh, highly, highly likely that she is not lying, that she's okay. telling the truth. So All right. That's just my opinion. All right. I thought she did pretty well too for she the first time. Well for her first time. But movie. please, future people who are trying out for Drag Race, please at least have performed at least once. You should at least have performed I say somewhere. This and then watch me try out and then get on. Yeah, you should have at least performed somewhere. You should have at least gone to a drag show. I'm going to be on season 20. You should drag race. Have, have at least learned how to put on makeup. Look for me. I'm a strange. So something. Face, face, face. I, I love how I'm, beauty, I'm saying you should learn how to put on makeup take, and I have my okay. own makeup artist when I do shows. Okay. Who did you make up when you did shows? Usually Sarah. Even at Fusions? Yeah. Unless I was, like, actually at time I would That's do it on my... Picture. Unless I actually at time I would want to do it on my own, usually Sarah would come in and do my makeup. Huh. She was also my live singer. So that's who I have to blame for nightmares every night. Yes, that's okay. right. That's right. It's all her. Thanks a lot, Sarah. Uh -huh. Thanks. But okay, she probably did like three or four words on my makeup. Cheerio. I would do the rest. Lovely least. job. Lovely Head job time. on your face. Okay, so, bottom, eliminated. Who do you call them bottom? Eliminated is... Bye-bye, Scary Cat. Scary Cat. Right. Now, do you find it kind of ironic that... Um, do you think RuPaul's Drag Race hates cats and that's why they keep taking them off? No. Gothy Kendall. Gothy Kendall was a cat. Boot it. Was Scary Cat was a cat. Boot it. Remember but... in her um, hometown? Oh, yeah. I do find it funny, though, that it was predicted at the very top of the episode that she was going to be the bottom and go home. How do you... Wait, how do you figure? How is the lineup? Who did the Vivian put at the oh, very bottom? Oh, that's true. Dun, 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 dun. Scaredy Cat was the very bottom, thus being made the alternate team... The other team captain. And she goes home. She go bye-bye. She go bye-bye. So we have Bag of Chips winning. We have Scaredy Cat going home. I am sad because I thought Scaredy Cat would at least make it to top five. The cat was out of the bag. Get chips. Ching <laughs> ching. She came out of the bag of chips. That's nasty. <laughs> Drug. Okay, so what's going on for next episode? You seem to always know what the episodes are about before. Next right? episode, we're doing team challenge again. Team challenge. Um, I don't know what we're doing. Wait. You know all of these. You like map them out months in advance. Fucking a. I know. I know it's a design challenge because I remember them running for um, 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 fabric and whatnot. Ah. So we get our first design challenge. We're gonna see which queens know how to sew, which queens don't know how to sew, who are the stupid ones for not knowing how to sew because you're going to drag race and you should know how to a sew. No b. Uh, have at least two or three celebrities in your queue. Thank you. So so. To perform, in case you're doing um, um, snatch game, you should also um, be funny. At least know how to dance a little bit. Uh, have good timing. You should also know the answer to how's your head. I've never had any complaints. Ta da! She can be in drag race. <laughs> so Scaredy's farewell message. Scaredy the whole way. Nineteen now. What's gonna happen when I'm thirty-five? When I'm thirty-five. Da -da -da -da. Some of those things they were the um not car uh, parasols, but they were like the things that you photographers use Lights, when like flashes. Um yeah, is that what it is? Maybe. Poof, 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 poof. Okay. Design challenge. Design Look challenge. for it. Who do you think is gonna do well? Uh. Based on <laughs> the little things we know, I feel like maybe Davina's gonna Davina. do well. I feel uh, perhaps Vivian would do well. I mean, oh, although I'm also hoping that maybe sewing is her Achilles heel and she's not going to know how to handle it. That would be her That's horrible ball. to say. That's but horrible. that's what I'm thinking. Crystal, um, Crystal Ho is going to do, Crystal Ho is going to like all of a sudden. Not Crystal Ho, what are you marrying them? She's going to like, boom. It's Cheryl Ho and Crystal. What's your point? A point is there are two they different people. They could be one person. No one says Taylor Lee. They could be one person. You don't know their life. Because they're never filmed at the same time. You they don't are know their life. Right there, boom. Like how Pheromone and Trixie Mattel are the same uh, person. No, they're not. Trixie Mattel and Pheromone. Not Pheromone. Um, what was her name? From Katya? No, no, no. The one that got picked up and like thrown around. and. Oh. Um... India Farah. India Farah. India Farah and Trixie Mattel are the Ooh, same person. Apparently has a big dick. Apparently her dick's her new too. Lease were nude, nudes are leased also. Her boyfriend is cute. Of India Farah? And her boyfriend also does drag. Oh, 
They're the same. Her and Trixie are the same person. So she's the same Kai Kai. I swear they're the same. They're one and the same. Why do you say they're the same? They I think don't that, look. I think okay, that Farrah just that's did. That's racist. You, know, you think they look the same? When Farrah first did the show and she did so bad, and then so she came back as Trixie Mattel to reinvent herself. I just think it's funny that Trixie so Mattel makeup on. that Trixie Mattel um, had to get booted before Snatch Game because of who she wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And Rick. Oh. And you know, I mean, th- that's also going to be one to see. Like, how they do Snatch Game in the UK? Like, are people going to get their references, or are they how much Dame Maggie and... Smith are we going to get? I know, right? How many or are we going to have a night of a thousand? Is that her name, Maggie Smith? Mag- Dame Maggie Smith. But yes. is that the actress's name? Yes. No. Yes. The, yes. the actress from Harry Potter and Downton yeah. Abbey and all that. Maggie I thought her Smith. name was Maggie Smith from Downton Abbey. No. <laughs> uh, well, she is from Downton Abbey. You're speaking of Harry yeah. Potter, shout out to one of my favorite bars, Hookie Lao, who's going to do uh, another Harry Potter week like they did last year. What is Hookie Lao? Uh, it's a bar slash restaurant in downtown across from where I work, and they're going to serve like Harry Potter themed meals, and I think they're going to have butter beer, and I'm looking forward to it because I'm a, of we're both really big Harry Potter is it fans. Real? Yes. I've never heard of it. It's as real as... Oh, wait. I was talking about this to somebody else. Never mind. I like pointing at the camera. Design challenge. Design Next challenge. Week. All right. I think Divina's going to do well. I think Vivian will do well. I think... I'm kind of hoping Blue Hydrangea will do well. I think... I'm kind of hoping we see Blue Hydrangea in blue. Since she said that's all she her, wears. Yeah, and she's never worn it yet except for I wonder if something so. Wong can... Uh, um, 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 Design? Yeah. Oh, I think Bag of Chips knows how to sew. So I think she'll do well. No, I'm saying I wonder if something Wong knows how to sew. Oh, well, we'll see. I mean, she's got to know how to do something. I feel like I'm always forgetting something. Oh, Crystal. See, Crystal, I can never remember. Even though she's one of Crystal the theater Hulk? guys. Crystal. <laughs> Crystal Hall. I feel like Cheryl can sew. You think? Why? Because she's from Canada? Crystal is from Canada! They're the same person. I hate you. So they are much. one and the same. I hate you. Oh look, one we're gonna get what's coming up next. See, so watch, watch this. Have you ever seen the two of them? Well, I'm um, fifty-three. Coming up. Coming up. Just kidding. Never mind. All right, so we're gonna end it there because we're hitting almost an hour, and, and clearly Taylor doesn't like long. Clearly, this person sitting next to me is on so delusional that he doesn't know what he's doing or saying. So. Um, I'm the one who's not. Sing Cheryl Crystal Hole. Mm-hmm. 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 On that note. Crystal Hole. Where's our exit music? On that note. Goodbye until next week when we release the episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK.